Hey guys, this is Henry from Albedia again. Uh, today we're going to be starting a new series of tutorials related to the project page uh, in Studio One. So, so far we've we've done all these tutorial and explanations on, on how to use all these functions um, of, of Studio One, but they're all related to the song page, which is where you're going to be spending the vast majority of your time um, when you create a song and you, you should be familiar with this, when you create a song, you can record, you can edit, you can mix audio in that, uh, work with MIDI, and virtual instruments, and so on and so forth. Now, let's say that you've, you have, you know, you have a project, you have five or six songs, maybe ten, you have a whole album, maybe an EP, and now, now that you have all these mixes, you want to start the mastering stage, right? Well, Studio One Professional gives their users the possibility to work on a new, I guess you could say, environment within Studio One that is basically made and designed for mastering. That is the project, okay? It's not a song, it's called project. It's the project page. So on this first tutorial, we're going to be explaining how to create a new project, how to import files, and how to save. So, um, you know Studio One, you open the program, and you should have this window uh, or this main window where you can create your new song, which you already know how to do that, and then you have create a new project. So if you click there, it'll give you the option. Um, it'll show the new project window, project title. You can click there, delete, and then type, let's say, um, let's call it tutorial project. Then below that, that's your destination or location we're going to be uh, storing it. I'm just going to leave that default. Then you can select your sample rate. Uh, let's do, let's say, 48. Let's assume that my mixes, uh, the mixes that I'm going to be importing into this are set to 48. So let's go ahead and set the same sample rate for that. Um, and then you can import tracks from DDP image if you want. In our case, we're going to be importing actual WAV files. So we don't need to do that. So if we press OK, boom, that's the project page. This is something we haven't seen in the past. So um, just bear with me, we're going to be working on this for the next tutorial, okay? So, um, a couple things here that might look familiar. Um, this area here, this horizontal area, as you can see, there's frequency down here, 50, 100, 200. So, this is an RTA, and then, so that's horizontal axis, you have frequency, and then vertical amplitude. This area down here... Uh, it looks like a timeline. As you can see, there's time here, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So that, that looks like a timeline. You have a master um, fader here with inserts, pre and post. So that, that's kind of familiar. And then you have a track list here. We don't have any tracks added, so you don't see that. And you have your transport bar where can you can you know, stop, play, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and import um, a file, in this case a mix. Okay. Um, Actually, we should import maybe one or two mixes because, in theory, when you're going to be mastering, most likely you're going to be mastering, let's say, an EP, you know, five songs, six songs, maybe ten. You could do one if you wanted, but um, typically if you're working on an album, it's going to be more than one song. So so how do you do that? Well, uh, you go to Project up here, and then Import File, and then I have here a folder where I have all these mixes. I'm going to go ahead and import this one, it's a WAV file, open, and let's do it one more time. Project, import file, and I'm going to import uh, this one. Okay, so um, now that I've imported two mixes or two songs, you can see the first song is here. This is the name for the song, which is the name of the file, and then the second one, uh, it's down here. You can see the number one and the number two. Oops, sorry. Number one, number two. When I click on number one, it gets highlighted down here. It says track one, and you can see the waveform. When I click on the second one, the second one gets highlighted. We can go down here, bottom right, and zoom in. So we can see it's actually a timeline, as I was saying. Here's the first song. Here's the second one. I'm going to go ahead and double click here to change that to track one. Just changing the name, and this one, track two. Okay. So as you can see, the waveform has a little name here, a little tag. It has also changed track one and track two. Um, if you here here in the timeline, let's say we place the cursor here and we press play, 
we should be listening to that and we should see it on the RTA as well as this level meter down here. Okay, so sorry for that, a little loud. But yes, you could see that there was an RTA and a level meter here. We're going to be explaining that on future tutorials though. So let's say that you've imported this, you like it. If you want to save it, you just go to File, Save As. Uh, let's call it Tutorial, pro well, it's Tutorial Project, so let's just leave it that way. It knows the location, so I'm just going to press Save, and it's been saved. If I go File, Close, I can always, uh, from my Projects list, I can reopen it. As you can see here, it says Today. I can just click there, and it'll open again. So that's how you create a new project, uh, a new project in Studio One, that's how you import files into the project, and that's how you save that. So that's the first thing we need to learn about projects. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.